Welcome to the Video Analytics Towards Vision Zero Partnership. With your help, we have an opportunity to reach our goal of zero traffic deaths or serious injuries by using video analytics and machine learning systems to make roads safer. Here's what we're asking you to do. Watch the video we share and identify which objects are people walking, which are riding a bicycle, and which are vehicles. This will help us teach computers to recognize when, where, and why traffic crashes occur so that transportation workers can take proactive measures. Now we're going to walk you through the steps involved in identifying objects. First, you will be presented with a short video clip of a traffic intersection in North America. Start by pressing play to watch the entire video clip, then press rewind to return to the beginning. You can adjust the viewing speed using the slow, slower, and fast buttons. To begin identifying objects, select the New Object button. Use the crosshairs to draw a box around individual objects. Let's begin with this pedestrian. Draw a box that fits tightly around the object. Now select Pedestrian from the menu, and since this person is crossing the road, select this option. Next, move the slider to advance the video until the pedestrian either moves out of the scene or has come to a complete stop, as is the case here. Now move and resize the box to fit around the pedestrian. Take care to make minor adjustments to the size and position of the box so it fits tightly. As you move the slider back and forth, the box follows the pedestrian's path. At places where the box is not in alignment with the pedestrian, make adjustments to both the size and placement of the box. Ensure that the box tracks the pedestrian's movement throughout the video. At the moment when the pedestrian transitions from the roadway to the sidewalk, deselect the crossing the road option. During the pedestrian's journey, our view of him is briefly obstructed by a traffic light. At this point, when the person is no longer visible, select the temporarily occluded option. Then advance the slider until the pedestrian reappears and deselect the temporarily occluded option. There may be other scenes where a pedestrian, bicycle, or vehicle is not visible. In those cases, use the same temporarily occluded menu option. To begin identifying the next object, return the slider to the start point and select the New Object button again. As with the previous pedestrian, draw a box around this individual as he moves through the video. At the point when the pedestrian is about to exit the scene, move the box over the pedestrian and select the option called Outside of View Frame. Now let's identify a vehicle. Once the vehicle exits the red dashed lines, our area of interest, select the Outside of View Frame option. For objects that enter the scene later in the video clip, be sure to identify them as soon as they enter the red dashed line. Make sure you have identified all the objects in the scene correctly before submitting your work. You have two options here, pressing the Submit and Get Next Task button or the Submit and Exit button. If you do not press one of these options, your work will not be submitted into our database. At any time, you can use the Instructions button for additional tips and help. Thank you for your participation. Please help get others to take part by telling them about this effort. Together, we can make our transportation system safer and move towards Vision Zero.